today we're going to look at the breakdown, but we're going to look at it from a defensive point of view. So when you haven't got the ball, you're in the defensive line, and then actually what we do from there. So whether we can put pressure on the ball at the breakdown, try and steal it, or whether we just uh, counter ruck, or we get back in the defensive line. So we'll look at some scenarios about what to look for and the decisions that need to be made. So the first job is obviously to be in the defensive line, is you've got to be a tackler. So you've got to be able to do your job there. When the ball carrier from the opposition come at you, there's, there's usually the first decision if you're not actually the main tackler, is whether you need to go in and assist. Now there's reasons for having to do that. So the guy beside you is making the tackle and he may not be winning the contact, so you can go and help uh, control that. Um, it might be to stop an offload, so the the tackler's gone low, so you come in and stop the ball being offloaded. That's the first decision, so whether you need to assist. The second one is, <coughs> when the tackle happens, is whether you can actually get in and put pressure on the ball. So when I say pressure, it means either be able to turn it over, so you go in and pinch it, or you get in there, you take the space, you ensure that they've got to commit, commit numbers to, uh, to win the ball. So the outcome you're looking for there is a sloppy, slow ball for them. The third, third decision that you have is that there's just no, no opportunity at all and you're actually better to not waste yourself and get back into the, uh, back into the defensive line for the next breakdown. So, so what we're going to do lads, we'll set up and we'll set up the different scenarios. The main one we'll look at is that you're not assisting but the tackle has been made as to whether there's an opportunity to get in and steal the ball. And usually the, the, the times that the opportunity is most open is when you have a really good defensive line, so you knock them over behind the advantage line. So their support players are going to come back in and around. So that usually leaves a window of opportunity to, to get in and have a, have a ping at the ball. Conversely, quite often when they make a break, they can leave their support behind. And uh, the opportunity can be there is to get in and, uh, and steal the ball before their support get in. But what we need to see is, is when the opportunity is there and then actually the technique once we get there. So, so what we'll do, we'll set up a couple of back lines with a ball carrier. I'll get in the, in the defensive line and we'll just, we'll just have a look at the, the different scenarios. In this scenario, we'll look at the decision of, of when the right time is to make an assist tackle. So we've got a defensive line set up here against an attacking line and, and usually it occurs when the tackle happens just either side of you. So we'll make sure that uh, it happens just outside me and we'll look at the when I'd go in to, to assist the tackle and, and why I would. So it's often to control the contact um, or when there's a bit of a rest one, our player's struggling to make the tackle properly, you can go in and help. So we'll just walk through a scenario and we'll, we'll just stop it uh, when we get to that point. Okay, so we're coming up. I'm defending the second fella here and here. There's a bit of a wrestle going on. Stop there. Now this is the point where the decision's made. Now, a bit of a wrestle, they've got a bit of go forward. What's my impact? My impact is if I, if I hit in here around the ball, I'll show you in a sec, I'm going to tie that ball up in the air for starters so there can't be an offload and hopefully two lots of legs against one is going to mean we get some momentum. So from there I'd come in and hit there and hopefully we're going to drive him back at some point and he'll end up on the ground. His support players are going to come back in and around and uh, that's going to mean we have a good defensive line set up for the, for the next phase um, with some good line speeds. You ready? And off we go. So coming up, I'm tackling this fella here. It's in a wrestle, and then I can control the contact like that. So that's that's the first decision that I think is important is will I be effective if I go in and help tackle? Yeah.